stars are closer. All the stars are closer. All the stars are closer. Biscoff cheesecake that looks epic. Um, wow, and then that is the peanut caramel chocolate slice, which also looks epic. Now I just need to find some cutlery so I can actually eat my half of these treats. So, yeah, there you go sexual it is about i think about 12 30 in the afternoon um nick's been out for the last uh, i don't know maybe hour and a half um at the vegetarian kitchen idea that we went to yesterday charging up all the battery packs and his phone and everything so they're full charge for our drive tomorrow uh, the solar's been on since about probably about eight o'clock this morning. I'm using the charger inside the van um, just to charge up this phone that I'm recording on for a little bit. I'm hiding half my face because I look mashed. I mean, you can see my eyes. I've I don't know if it's I've overslept or I need to sleep more or I just need more water or I'm not sure. I'm drinking some herbal tea, but it's making me feel quite nauseous or maybe it's the actual it might actually be the cheesecake that I had maybe I shouldn't have eaten all of that stuff this morning um, anyways I just feel completely honestly exhausted I don't know if it's the DNA upgrades 
the spiritual pregnancy, the real pregnancy, all the changes that are going on, the weather, maybe it's all playing a part of it. Um, I'm just completely exhausted. So I've been lying here watching non-stop Aaron Williams vlogs for like probably the last hour. Um, yeah. And um, it's really nice and sunny outside. So I'm probably going to lie here for maybe another five or 10 minutes. I'm going to call Nick and then I'm going to make myself get up, have some water, have some more tea, go to the toilet, brush my teeth, have a little wash in the sink with our awesome um, Dr. Bronner's all purpose cleaner, like shower gel and everything else. It's like rose, I think it's rose hip or something like that, um, compared to the sanitizer, which is lavender. And then I'm going to walk all the way down Bear Road, go to Brighton Town Centre, walk through the lanes. And I think I'm going to go to that small batch ca coffee house and sit in there, use the laptop for maybe an hour or so, check all the stuff I need to check online. And then I want to go around the rest of the town centre, like to Pylons and all the other parts of upwards by the town, because we tend to just hang around the lanes and then the beach. Um, but I want to go to the rest of the shops up in the actual town centre on the high street as today is our last full day living in Brighton so yeah I'm exhausted but I'm going to try and make sure I utilise this last day because then tomorrow I'm going to be in France for a little bit and then straight afterwards into Spain so yeah it's going to be strange going the fact that I'm going to be in basically three countries tomorrow in the morning I'll still be in the UK in England in Brighton then suddenly I'll be in France in Calais and then suddenly I'll be in Spain three countries in one day that's quite a lot um yeah so I need to try and get up I've had the fire on for probably the last hour and a half as well so I'm so tired I'm really tempted to just sleep but then I probably won't sleep tonight and then I'll probably be pissed off at myself that I spent the last full day living in Brighton sleeping when I could have been out enjoying life and sleeping tonight instead so I'm gonna make myself get up do you know what fuck lying down here for another five minutes I'm gonna get up right now hi guys it's Soul Star Divine Feminine aka Nini welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel I don't know why I'm talking like Tana Mojo anyways um, I am currently in my new home in case you guys haven't been told in some of my readings I am living off grid I bought a van for just over five thousand pounds and it's a van conversion so it literally is my new home i've got a wood fire stove a gas cooker a propex tea a tv a monitor a reverse camera a desk cupboards drawers wardrobes toilet solar shower the whole thing um i'm currently using the sunlight through my blackout curtains you can see some of my micro greens at the front um and this is the life that me and my dm are living so i just want to give you a quick um inspirational talk about how sometimes in life when you're doing things that really are for your own good for your own soul happiness and soul growth and expansion and even if it's just you are not sure about it but you're experimenting and you're trying new things people and sometimes the closest people to you will be the ones that will be throwing the most toxic energy your way um either dissing you cussing you out telling you that this will never work this is ridiculous people don't do this blah 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 or they'll just genuinely be having an ego fit because you're doing something that they didn't see for you in their plan and in their vision of how you and your life should be but you still need to continue doing what you want for yourself first and foremost because most people are too scared to chase their dreams most people are too scared to step out their comfort zone and try new things that other people would you know typically hate on or laugh at and you can't live your life based on other people's opinions of you and on top of that fact people will see what you're doing and they will form their own opinions of their own limited perception and their own limited growth and sometimes people will have a complete and utter picture of you and it's the complete opposite of who you are so 
understand that even if you've spent the last 25 years with someone and you've seen them two three times a week they still may not know who you really are but they will have a complete and utter picture in their head of what they've created in their head based on the small or big interactions that they've had with you but please do something for you for your own soul happiness for your own soul growth i promise you you'll be so so happy that you did now the sun is shining bright as ever and it's just amazing because me and my partner my divine love partner my divine masculine twin flame whatever whatever you want to label it i so don't care for labels anymore but we have been living in brighton now for the last i think two to three weeks um i left london a while ago now i left london um we first moved to hemel hempstead outside of london uh proper countryside town in redbourne and then now we've been living in brighton for the last few weeks and now today is our last official full day and we're moving to barcelona tomorrow and we're going to drive all the way through france to go to barcelona and there's so many haters <laughs> hating on our lifestyle hating on the way we're living the fact that we're living in a van the fact that it's converted the fact that um we're leaving the country and we're not just staying in a crappy nine to five in the same vicinity of where they all are people are hating and um my dm is feeling a lot of it right now and learning and growing through that so i just want to make sure that you guys know literally do something for you fuck what everyone else thinks and says literally do it for you and if you want to experiment and try new things go ahead you literally have this one life experience here do whatever you want to do please 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 you are only here for a limited amount of time now with that said i hope you guys enjoy whatever you're going to see next either the reading the channeled messages i'm sending you so much love and light and much peace to you all okay so i'll see you in the future other nini <laughs> I have spoken to Nick on the phone. He is now at the pier charging his phone and I'm going to bring the laptop with me and finally leave home. Um, it's probably about 1.30 in the afternoon. I've been feeling really overly exhausted from every single little thing. I don't know if it's the pregnancy, potentially the spiritual pregnancy, the hormones, the DNA upgrades, the fact that I was having a cold and maybe it's come back or maybe I just haven't been eating enough iron and vitamin C recently. Or it could be a mixture of all of them. Anyways, it's now around 1.30. It's our last day here living in Brighton. And I can't believe it's gone by so freaking quick. Um, there's loads of cars going past me staring at me like, what the hell is this car doing? Um, but people think that about our lives anyway. What the hell? Why are you living in your van? That's crazy. You guys are gypsies. Blah, blah, blah. All of the hate that they're throwing our way. We don't care. What is the line that I kept singing yesterday? Um, oh, I love it. As soon as I need it, I forget it, don't I? Oh, my gosh. Oh yeah, we don't really, well, we don't really care what people say. No, that's not the right song. It's a Sean Paul song, but it's not those lyrics. When I remember, I will add it in potentially here. Anyways, I'm going to now walk down into the town centre and I'm going to write a list of all the things we need um, over the next few days. Even though we've got a lot of the stuff, like we've got enough wood and we've got enough kindling, I think we should stock up on some more pasta, some more chickpeas, some gherkins, some veg that will stay okay, like peppers, uh, maybe some snap peas or sugar snap peas sorry or pea shoots and stuff like that as well um i could add more microgreens to our little garden that we have at the front as you guys have seen um and potentially maybe some bread hmm, i'm not sure i think we should get one more um organic oat milk because i feel like we're going to be drinking a lot of cacao and a lot of cornmeal porridge so even with the half milk half water i think we're going to get through it quite quick so I'm finally going to go outside, um, which is weird to think that we got up so early. I've already gone to the petrol station, come back and forth, gone back and forth in the van. And now I've been in here for like the last two, three hours because now I feel so snug and I could just easily fall asleep. But I don't want to miss out on the last full day I have here because after we leave Brighton tomorrow morning, I have no idea if I'll even ever come back to Brighton or if this is it. So I also feel like I should get like a touristy magnet or a touristy like key ring or something in case I never come back here because we're going to Barcelona and we're probably going to be going back and forth Barcelona Hawaii Bali and America or the rest of America sorry um 
so yeah i uh, got a lot of stuff to get done i'm gonna write a list on the way down i'm gonna call nick and talk him through the list as well and meet up with him and print out all the stuff and um, just try and enjoy our last day so i'm gonna turn off the solar now uh, so it doesn't reverse charge because i know i won't get back before dark and um yeah i think the emotions of the fact that i've lived here for a few weeks and it's already gone past so quick and i'm moving to barcelona and i've been dreaming and trying to manifest this for like the last eight nine months and now it's happening it's like wow i really have come so far and i've grown so much this year and i'm so grateful and humbled by all of the experiences i've had even the horrific ones i'm just grateful i'm so grateful for being here in this position right now um with my divine masculine and a divine partnership like living our best lives and um yeah i'm just really really grateful so thank you universe namaste ashe and uh let's go on with the rest of the day guys <laughs> i'm so gonna cry wow okay let's go with the rest of the day bye so guys as you saw um i've got i mean i had an emotional little talk with you guys just now i've got so many layers on i have oh my gosh how many i didn't put a t-shirt on today but i've got one two three jumpers and then this little raincoat and then my big coat which doesn't zip up right now because i need to get it fixed um however i am now gonna walk down this long ass bear road and make my way into town i'm gonna write down um, I just tried to call Nick, but he's on another line. So I'm going to write down the list of stuff I think that we need. Call him, talk to him about stuff. And um, get on with stuff. Try and get the stuff that we need printed and photocopied really, really quick. And then just try and enjoy the rest of the day because it's literally our last day. <laughs> if we can write. Um, and now it's basically 2 o'clock just before 2 so we're only going to have about 2 and a half hours of daylight left so I'm hoping that I can just stop somewhere quickly like maybe Glaze Donuts buy a quick vegan donut well I mean all of their all of Glaze Donuts all of the donuts are vegan um, but I'm hoping I can go in there quickly use the Wi-Fi because we ran out of data but we haven't topped up the data yet on this phone because I've been watching too many Aaron Williams vlogs before I downloaded them on my YouTube Premium for free so I can watch them offline um so i need to um use the wi-fi somewhere quickly send my emails to nick's email so when we go to the printing shop we can print out everything we need especially the english versions of the nie forms so when we get there at the, the i think it's at the police station wherever the nie appointment is we need to have our own english version so that when they give us the spanish version we know exactly how to fill it in because they don't tend to speak Spa uh they don't speak very good english there and we're not great at our Spanish yet. Um, so yeah. Hey. Um, and even though we've got Spanish friends, and one of them said that she can come and help us, she might be working on that day. So we're not sure if she can, it's not guaranteed that she's gonna come with us yet. So um, what we're gonna do is photocopy our passports as well and our international insurance cards, um, our HIC or whatever, health insurance card, sorry. And then I can just enjoy the rest of my day go and look at all the shops that I love, go and get some extra palisanto and sage, maybe um, go and get some more crystals, because I haven't bought any crystals since we've been in Brighton, so I might buy one crystal, it'll always represent, well I got this in Brighton, but alongside that I want to definitely get a fridge magnet or a key ring, probably a key ring because I'm always using my car keys, van keys, do you still call it car keys even if you have a van, or do you call it van keys, like I don't know. I don't know anyway so it's really windy but my chest is warm um, however my hands are cold so I'm gonna put the phone camera away I'm so out of breath I'm so exhausted every single minute even just standing up inside home I got exhausted like I'd run a marathon do pregnant people feel like that do exhausted people feel like that when you get DNA upgrades do you guys feel like that I've been going through a lot of stuff and I've been having a spiritual pregnancy for a long ass time um, well, it seems like a long last time um, but yeah I'm just like using motivation tactics because I'm like if my little baby was actually physically out of my tummy right now I would still have to get on with life and still go and do errands and still go out even when I don't feel like that great sometimes so it's like 
just get on with it love just get on with it you rest it for a few hours get on with it so that's what i'm using as my motivation as you can see there's loads of cars around me so i'm gonna put my phone away and oh, try and keep my hands warm for a few minutes until nick calls me back and i'll see you guys when there's more exciting things to talk about peace hey guys thanks for watching so far Please support our Patreon page. We want to consistently provide videos and content, share love to you guys, and we are happy so far uh, what we are producing, and we want to continue and expand on it. And we just hope you are sticking with us and you are getting some kind of inspiration or kind of love. And ultimately, the charity is going to be in terms of sending love to those people we need over time. Me and Nini would love to expand on this and also build upon our no retreat where we are providing healing and massages and Reiki, all sorts of things, and that's still alive. Uh, so yeah, we want to thank you so much for watching so far. Now back to the vlog. Um, I just left Glaze Donuts, the next level donuts, the vegan donut shop. I totally forgot to vlog. It was completely packed, ransacked inside with all the skater dudes just smoking CBD and hash and weed outside or jamming inside on their laptops. Um, so I totally forgot to actually vlog um, all the donuts. Today they have Vigo donuts, as in like that's the best vegan chocolate you can have. They've got the Biscoff donuts, they've got strawberry coconut donuts, and they've got raspberry glazed donuts as well. So I just got two Biscoff donuts because I know that me and Nick love those donuts the most. Um, so I thought I'll get myself one and get him one too. They're 2 50 each. If I can get like screenshots and stuff up on the screen, I will. I just got a loyalty card now and I was like, oh, I should have got one three weeks ago because I may never end up coming back to Brighton. Who knows? Um, but now I am on the main street, which is where you can see all the graffiti behind me. There's co-op. So I'm just going to make my way towards the pier because Nick's not answering his phone. So I'm assuming he's put it on airplane mode again to save battery. Vegan. Sorry, the top one isn't vegan, but all of the vegan meat substitutes. Just got some of that. Throw it on the scale. So it's number 56. 50, so it's 165, I think. I think. Printed it out, got it. For real, what a difference this made. I printed it out from there, so it weighed it. Awesome, I got vegan Christmas eggs. It's my baby! Hello! Hey. Hello! I was having a good conversation. Nick's just putting his bike away. We've come up a bit. We've come up maybe like three or four minute walk up the street from where we were. And um, yeah, we're just gonna park the bike here. That looks like a cute coffee house, the Phoenix coffee house. They might have Wi Fi and plugs there. It's got old school TV, so I bet they've got games there. Um, so yeah, as you guys saw, I bought um, the vegan pulled chicken, and we've never had that before. I was gonna get the duck because I know Nick loves duck. As in, when he was a meat eater, he loved duck, and then when he's a vegan, he loves the vegan duck. But then I saw that they had pulled chicken, and we've never tried the chicken one. Um, so it's vegan pulled chicken, and I got the the bouillon organic seasoning. So I'm gonna cook it up with like broccoli and mushrooms and stuff. Um, this currently, we've just been um, photocopying our passports, our HRC forms, and everything in this little Kodak store. Um, and now we're going to go on the computer just behind me so we can print out some of our stuff. And Nick's charging up all the battery packs again. Yes. So, to update them, what have we done? Where are we now? So, right now, we're in here in the house. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, nice vegan food. It's a mixture of like a pub. Uh, they, they, they clean the kitchen at a certain time. 
you're gonna get like, what is it? This, was it the chips balls? They, yeah, they were like vegan steak fries or something. Yeah. Oh no, it was vegan uh, pulled pork jackfruit fries. Yeah, yeah that's it here. Vegan cheese barbecue jackfruit. That's what we got last time. It was so good. One each, my surprise. Okay, cool. And we also had that last time. That's really good. The vegan yeah. steak and the steak. Food is fun. Food. Wait, food. Uh, if we get the laptop back. I don't know if they've been in it, but you can do it on your phone too, you can watch the video, so you might spend a bit of it here. You could do that, I don't know. They've got vegan mac and cheese as well, Nick. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Okay, cool. So you guys, we spent probably about an hour and a half in that um, internet Kodak shop. We printed out everything we could possibly think of that we needed to print out. And now we're going to finally eat, because all I've had today is half that cheesecake and half a tart with some tea. And it's now four o'clock. I am so hungry, but I was determined to get the stuff done. It's now like 10 past four. We're going to quickly eat something here. We can't be bothered to walk all the way back home and then come all the way back down. So we're going to eat something here charge up our stuff if they have wi-fi we're going to use the wi-fi and then hopefully i'll still be able to go around the town uh center the part the shops like pylons and stuff i wanted to see if not i'll just quickly run to the lanes and go and get like a key ring or something hopefully before it shuts yeah i'm going to show you guys the actual complete vegan menu that they have here at hair in the house is your foot okay we're charging up our battery packs and our phones as per usual and my baby's over there ordering food we were gonna sit over there because we really like the way that looks as well but i'm really comfortable here i knew once i sat down i wouldn't want to move the vegan chicken is definitely defrosting which is a good thing because um I'm gonna cook it for tonight anyway, so it's a better thing. It'll be easier to cook. But yeah. Oh yes, please. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Do you have any um, lemon or lime? Hello, hello, hello. What a day today has been. So I went out. Probably heard it from Nini. I'm not too sure. Uh, went on my bike. So I could speed up my process, um, went to charge my battery packs again, because obviously we have a bit of an issue with our solar control at the moment. Uh, it can charge the phones, but when we turn like our monitor on on there, it um, cuts out. So right now we want to be uh, safe than sorry. So I'm charging the phones or the packs outside in different shops. We're now in a restaurant called Hair and the Hounds, that sign behind me. Hair and the Hounds, a beautiful place. I think I have fantastic vegan food here. Can't wait to eat again. Um, it's our last day in Brighton before we take a trip to on my days Barcelona tomorrow and it's going to be a first time driving for like what a good 16 hours 16 17 hours oh my goodness and I met someone in a shop today a cafe called idea it's I-Y-D-E-A fantastic breakfast fantastic lunches met uh, fantastic couples and having a conversation about going out there and I told someone that it's my first time his name was, I think the first guy I spoke to, his name was Lee. He used to live in Stratford-upon-Avon and he moved to Brighton eight years ago. And he said uh, he became a vegetarian, vegetarian after his wife was a vegetarian. They were out somewhere in India, I think. And um, he said he had meat and he felt sick and since then he didn't eat meat again. To each his own when it comes to their eating lifestyles. But, wow, look at these dogs. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> so cute. You're gonna vlog. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if you, if you got her. I got you, but yeah, these lovely dogs out there. Um, don't know if you saw that because the camera's obviously hard for me to turn around. But ultimately, um, the way I'm feeling um, is I'm just like, bring it on. Um, nothing for me actually hits until it starts. I'm just like, as much as I worry and I um, get anxious in life, I can only really focus on one thing at a time naturally, I think, even though I can worry about things in advance. But until we're on the road, until we're going, then I'll know how I feel. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm hoping we can do one straight drive all the way to Barca, but that could be unlikely, depending on how fatigued I am, how tired. It depends. And um, yeah. We got all our NIE documents, um, the, the forms uh, printed out. We got other things printed out. We're making sure we're, we've, we've got enough printed out just in case of any errors. And um, 
yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's been an amazing journey so far, I love my partner so much. Literally, I was talking about that and she came to kiss me while I was saying it, so I'm not thinking it's a moment, because I said that just before she was going out to kiss me, so we're on the same page. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait to eat right now, that's all I'm focused on, and I think we're going to do some more things hopefully tonight in Brighton if we get the time to. Uh, but yeah, thank you, you very sleep. much. Probably won't sleep, yeah, you probably won't sleep. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Brighton, it's been fun. So cute! Really oh my man. gosh, that is epic! Thanks, Alex. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, do you want to add curry, cutlery, cutlery? Do you want to catch up now? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Awesome, we got vegan onion rings and vegan loaded fries. This is all jackfruit, guys, with vegan cheddar. Wow. He put so much on. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, Alex is going to get some hey. vegan mayo for us. Thumbs up here in the house Thumbs for the vegan yes. menu. Good. Enjoy. Oh, thank, thank you very thank much. You thank so you. Much. Epic. Cheers. I feel like Fred and George. Yeah, you know when they get past the age barrier in the goblet of fire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I see a, 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 um, a oh, great. Yeah. I see a great beard coming coming out now. <laughs> nice. Enjoy it. The onion ring too. How's the onion ring? The vegan, the vegan onion ring, vegan mayo. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You guys, I interrupted this meal because I don't think you understand. This chef went in. Uh, we've been eating for like 15, 20 minutes already. And it looks like I haven't even touched it. He yeah. put so much jackfruit, so much fries. Mm. Like this is, this could feed like four people. But because I'm so hormonal and pregnant or spiritually pregnant, however, I'm gonna eat the whole bloody thing, but my this would eat this would literally fill up four people. Good, good. Like even Trisha Paytas couldn't finish this. It looks like it just came now. It literally looks like you haven't touched it, but no. you've been eating for like 15 minutes. <laughs> so another 20 minutes later. This doesn't look like much on camera, but there's still so much left. We're gonna take these home because we cannot finish it. Tap out, tap out. <laughs> Yeah, it's way too much, you guys. I'm just gonna top up my water. Still water. It's getting lively in here. Everyone's coming in now. They've got um, a live open mic night tonight. Live music. But it's now five o'clock, so we're gonna try and rush into the lanes before everything shuts. Get me a key ring or something. And um, yeah, just go and explore the shots before they shut, really. Cheers, thanks for doing this with me. Goodbye, Brighton. Yeah, yeah.